Day 42. Uh, yesterday was a pretty big day because I decided to leave my canoe behind. So I portaged it for the last time. I realized that I've paddled for seven plus hours a day for over a hundred days in the past year because of this trip I did down the Mississippi River from source to sea. That was 85 days plus this trip, 40 days. So it's, you know, well over a hundred days. And I was thinking, you know, I could use a change. And then uh, came to shore and was offered this boat and I couldn't refuse it. So now I got into a Hobie trimaran, which was uh, amazingly lent to me by a doctor there in Blind River. He uh, saw me paddling through some rough uh, waters and came over, said hello, offered me a place to camp and then uh, offered me his boat. Amazing, like just so amazing. It's And uh, it's a really amazing boat, but it's not really a great paddler or a great sailor it's sort of in between so I sort of need the good conditions for it to be really comfortable um, and even in the not, like okay conditions I, I have to wear a dry suit because the boat pretty much slices through the water all the time of course I get completely soaking wet but it's uh it's pretty sweet it's pretty sweet a bit cold a bit cold just a little bit uh, but I've stopped shaking. I'm gonna cruise into this sweet little bay and have a nice little uh, lunch and possibly set up camp for the night in this nice little beach here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just camped out on this little island. I got the boat over there in the background. It's looking beautiful, ready to sail. I'm gonna get sailing here in a moment, but uh, before I do that, I feel like uh, I need to do a warm up. not just a sailboat it's a pedal boat too it's pretty uh, pretty cool if you actually see what is below these pedals there's basically like a, a gear system sort of chain system like on a bicycle but it goes into two flippers that face directly down and as you pedal they go back and forth to the side. And that's uh, mostly what's propelling me right now, although the sail is up and it's uh, maybe giving me a little bit of a boost. Really not going that fast. Probably around uh, somewhere between two and three knots. But I'm staying warm, so that's good. Cool, so tell me, tell me what you guys are doing. So we're on our last stretch. We left uh, Edmonton, uh, Alberta on May 2nd, and we canoed all the way to here. Drove around Lake Superior, just uh, cheated a little bit, it was a bit too sketchy for us, and we're heading to Montreal in our canoe with uh, our family. We're paddling back home, <laughs> back to Montreal. We a moved month to Edmonton. To, yeah, a month to go. A month to go, hopefully not more. So how long have you been paddling for? Four Almost months now. Almost four months now. Yeah. yeah. From Edmonton. From Edmonton. Edmonton, Alberta. In that boat. In, In that boat. boat. <laughs> we call it the Alberta, Alberto Perso. Alberto the tank. Perso. Awesome. Yeah. And how's it been so far? Pretty really great. good. We got a little bit of everything. Big waves, small waves, good river, upstream, portage. Um, a little bit of everything. Trip of a lifetime. Great. Looking forward to be home though. Yeah. <laughs> Four months, definitely. Well, I wish you uh, safe and happy travels. Thank you. Thanks it was great you. to meet you. you. Great to meet you. I can actually pedal along at a speed of about three miles per hour. It feels pretty good. I don't, wouldn't want to do this all day though. I'd probably get pretty uh, sore somewhere. Maybe in my knees. I mean, it's uh, 
It's pretty ergonomic though, it feels pretty comfortable. Day 43, I started off the morning in Thessalon. Didn't really have much of a conversation with anybody there, even though I camped out in their public marina. Pedaled for quite a bit and then finally got some strong winds. It was exciting, I was moving quite fast, had to do some interesting tacking up some narrow uh, channels. And I never knew loons gathered in such large numbers. There's about 30 loons here. So I've entered into my second country of Roots of Change, the United States of America. There it is right over there. I'm pedaling my little trimaran here on the border. Crossed over it a couple times, waiting for the sirens to go off and then to come and uh, arrest me for being a hooligan in a yellow boat. I'm right now, I'm on the St. Mary's River which uh, goes up to Sault Ste. Marie. For some reason, I didn't think there was gonna be any current on this river, but there is. And so I'm moving very, very slow. There's no wind to push me up the river. All I can do is pedal. One knee is sore and my feet uh, are numb. I could pull over and camp, uh, though my options don't seem that great right now. Bunch of uh, bog and mossy stuff and also I have the attraction of a place to stay in Sault Ste. Marie and I've been doing this for 10 hours now. Just got another two hours and I'll be in Sault Ste. Marie. <laughs> Good fun. Shortly after I made that last video about there being no wind, the wind finally picked up and I have been beating up the river. Sault Ste. Marie. <laughs> 